This is computer generated chess problem 00256 by Chesterica. Here we see that white is significantly ahead in material and black has his king somewhat in the center of the board surrounded by pawns, three of them his own. But there's actually a mate in three moves here and I'll show you the solution now with some analysis. So there's also a mate in eight but the mate in 3 runs as follows, rook to c1. This is what we might call a quiet move, but it actually serves the purpose of defending the pawn on c4 and basically locking the king in. Now as you can see, the suggested move here is d3. This prolongs the mate a little bit. But what would happen if b3 was played? Or then white checkmates with knight to a6. And if b5 was played, then white can win with knight to d7. Because the square on b6 also needs to be guarded, so knight to a6 would not work in this variation. In any case, after white plays rook to c1, Black plays d3, and then there are two ways to win. For example, white can play bishop to e5, yet another quiet move, and then whatever black plays here, for example, even d2, white can win with knight to a6 mate. Now, if we try the other variation here, instead of bishop to e5, we have knight to d7 check, the king has only got one escape square, king to d4, and then either bishop to e5 checkmate, the bishop being defended by the knight here, or bishop to e3 checkmate, the bishop being defended by the king. So going back to the initial position, we can see that white wins by playing rook to c1, defending the pawn, Black plays d3, white plays bishop to e5, black plays any move. Let's try this time uh, b5, and white wins with knight to d7 checkmate. Thanks for watching.